One of the many revelations that may occur while watching HBO's terrific new documentary, Nothing Left Unsaid, is how little we as children may actually know about our parents. Well, tonight, Anderson Cooper is debuting his new film about his mother, Gloria Vanderbilt, and we're chatting with him as well as all the celebrity attendees, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. How did this whole thing come about? Um, you know, for the film, I've been going through my mom's stuff in storage that she's had for her entire life because she has no interest in going through it. And I would find these letters from Howard Hughes and Frank Sinatra and all these people that she was involved with and and all sort of these secrets that, that she never really talked to me about growing up and about her past. And, and she had an incredibly contentious childhood and a difficult uh, upbringing. And so, I would suddenly start to ask her about these questions and I thought, you know, there's an incredible story in here, this sort of untold story about my mom and who she is and who she really is. It's fascinating because you think about how much you really know about your parents and watching this film, you can easily see that we probably don't know as much as we thought we did. What were right. some of the really cool nuggets that came to you as you were going through this discovery? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of things that people don't know about their parents and I think that's certainly the case and, you know, I would remember as a kid I would be watching an old movie with my mom and you know, I remember watching Robin Hood with her, with Errol Flynn, and saying like, oh, do you ever know Errol Flynn? And she'd be like, oh, yes. And she'd sort of trail away, and her voice would, you know, lift. So, I, but I never knew what the deal was. And so, you know, to suddenly discover all these things, and the, the, that she's lived so many different lives and inhabited so many different skins has been kind of a, an eye-opening thing. And even though you know the name, you know, you may know the name Gloria Vanderbilt, you don't really know what her story is. It's fascinating because she's so open, mm. and I love how open she is. Was it, was it fun for you to actually get the information out? Because it didn't seem like it was really a struggle as an interviewer. No, she's, she's, you know, she's incredibly open and incredibly willing to talk. And, and so uh, it wasn't a struggle. It was really kind of a, a joy to discover, to make this discovery so late in life. And, and uh, you know, I, I, I didn't want to have the feeling when she's no longer here that I didn't know who she really was or that there were all these things which we never discussed. And, and I think... I, I just encourage other people to sort of start, to start that conversation with an aging parent because I think it really does change your life as well as change your relationship. I can't think of a cooler mother-son combination <laughs> to get to make a movie with than Anderson Cooper and Gloria Vanderbilt. How did this come about for you? Uh, it came about because uh, Anderson discussed with Sheila Evans, who runs documentaries at HBO, the idea of making a doc, and then I was the recipient of that invitation. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty exciting uh, project and I've learned so much from them. It's fascinating because in watching the documentary, you realize how much Anderson didn't even know about his mother and her history and her life. As you're diving in, what were some of the discoveries, the cool discoveries, that nuggets that really popped out to you? Well, tr yeah, he, there was so much that he learned during the course of the interviews. But then it made me think, how much do we all know about our parents? Like about their sex lives when we, they were teenagers, you know, about their early mistakes, you know, about all of that stuff. Do we all really know those stories? Have we asked I those questions? <laughs> well, right, there's that. Do you want to know? But then sometimes you find these incredible similarities. Like she said, after her father died, she was always waiting for that letter from him, you know, that would validate him. He was waiting for the same thing from his father. To have those moments of recognition where you see yourself in the parent in your parent I think those are really really special moments I know you guys are good friends with Anderson how exciting is it to see because he's a private person him share his personal life with the public like this well well I'm I'm really proud of him for that um, he's such an accomplished guy and he's so uh, private about everything he really um, does not discuss his private life very much at all but Every time he reveals something to us just in our lives, you know, over the course of dinner or uh, a cocktail or whatever, it's always so fascinating. You know, we always are sitting there like, we'll just gather around him and say, tell us a story. And he does. He tells you the most extraordinary stories. Yeah, and, and so and I think it, this, and his mom also is the same. So this, mov this movie had to happen. Yeah, and his job is to get, to get people to tell their story. That's what he does for a living: is, is to get people to open up and, and talk about what they what they you know their their honesty and their truth. And 
to see him do that uh, in a really honest way, like a naked way, it was, was, was uh, astounding. One AC supporting another AC. Talk yep. to me about Anderson and him having this wonderful film, being here. The film is wonderful. I hope it inspires a dialogue between mothers and sons everywhere. And I think you'll see another side of Anderson and certainly an incredible history uh, of the life story of his mom is amazing. Your guys are on tour together. Are you having we are. fun? We're having a great time, best time. What brings you to this wonderful shindig tonight? Well, I was invited and I love Gloria. I've read her books and I know her and we've seen each other a few times at her place and at my place and you know she's an amazing woman she really is she's so creative and so smart and, and interesting she's an interesting human being you know so i i love being around her and i love seeing her work tell me about the real gloria what people might not know um I don't know if I'm the one to tell that. I know she's very creative. I mean, when I was at her apartment, she had this whole room full of um, dolls and cases and uh, that she had made, you know, little houses. And there were beautiful installations. Of, uh, and she came to my house and for lunch out in the country. And after she left, a few days later, I got a painting of her awesome. arriving at my house with me greeting her. <laughs> you know, she's just unusual and, and brilliant and talented.